Welcome to the last class of this course and in this class we are going to talk about balancing. Balancing is one of the most important features that you must have as a graphic designer and you should master it definitely because you are going to finish your work mainly when you are just a beginner you are going to finish the work and you are going to notice that something is off and you don't know what it is. Normally it is the balancing. There are two different approaches from graphic design okay and you you can choose only to use one or only choose the other or to use both is up to you no one's going to blame you if you only use one of them there are symmetric designs and asymmetric designs symmetric layout is when the weight of the design is distributed equally on the artboard okay so the weight on the left is the same weight of the right this one is also symmetric because this part has the same weight as this part. You still have a part with bold, bold text here and with light text here. You still have image on this side and you still have image on this side. So this is a symmetrical layout. So is this one. If I wanted to convert this to an asymmetrical layout, I would have to do something like this. But in this case, my letters will be too light and it's going to be hard to read. So I will do something like this. And probably, I don't know, but like this. And I would pull this one a little bit to the left. So this way I have a balanced but asymmetric design, okay? Because the weight here and here on the left and the right are completely different, but still you find th this design very comfortable to look at. When you're trying to make a symmetric layout, you should always try to make your elements of the left be the same weight as the, the elements on the right side of your layout because when you are using a symmetric layout, when you distribute everything correctly, everything will feel right to the eye, will be pleasing to look at. One of the advantages of symmetrical layouts is that you can put it to prove. You can create blocks that simulate the weight of each part of your layout and you can see if the weight is well distributed. It's a little bit more direct and it's a little bit easier to check if the, the balancing is correct. If you are trying to use an asymmetrical layout, it's a little bit harder because it tends to feel more organic, it has an organic feel. The biggest problem with asymmetrical is that it's harder for you to balance it correctly because you have to trust your eyes. You have to see and you have to feel if it's balanced. One of the most important and almost every designer at some point discovered that he should use it more is white space. White space is very, very important either in symmetrical, asymmetrical or anything in graphic design, not only in graphic design, but on any kind of visual communication, photography, videos, illustration, white space is one of the most important things that you have to know as a graphic designer. And that's definitely something that's going to set you apart from amateurs. The easiest way to see if the designer who's doing the design is actually an amateur is when you look to the piece that he made and you definitely see that that white space is missing everything needs space to breathe to be seen when you need to draw attention to something you have to you must have white space around it so you can know where to look at and remember that white space it's not literally white space it can be a space with a pattern with no relevant information that's just a space there so here in this layout we have this photograph that has two elements that's the waterfall and the girl here and everything else like these mountains this piece here where the water is here and here too are considered white space white space helps your eye to know what you are supposed to look at so this is white space this is white space so you know that you are supposed to look at the girl or the waterfall and here i have this this amount of white space here here and here let me show you how it would look 
if I had no white space at all. In this comparison, it is very clear that the right one is much more polished, is much more like a finished piece than the left one. The left one is much more like an aventure would make, okay? I may have exaggerated a little bit here. When you look to these two images, you can clearly see that this one is more balanced than this just because of white space. The information is distributed in the same way. The position of all elements and these two are the same, but the size is different. And because you have much more white space here, it allows your design to look more professional and to breathe a little bit more. This is very important and this is a game changer. When you learn how to use white spaces properly, you're definitely going to feel your designs are much more professional. And this is it for this class. In the next video, we are going to talk about that exercise that I was going to send you and we are going to create the stylescape.